The Fed announced another interest rate hike this week in hopes of taming inflation, while financial analysts say this month's hike could be the last. That's not guaranteed. And this morning, there's an emerging question about the housing market. If the Fed stops raising rates, will prospective home buyers who've been on the sidelines finally be able to get in the game? We have expert insight this morning that both buyers and sellers need to hear. Joining us in studio is founder and CEO of Rexmont Real Estate, Adriano Torri. Adriano, thank you so much for coming on tell us how is this hike going to impact the current mortgage rates so the feds and the mortgage market are like dance partners uh, sometimes the fed leads uh, in, at times the, the mortgage market leads sometimes they, they dance on their own and the fed sets the they, they don't set the the mortgage rates right so, but their actions indirectly impact the mortgage rates and so Right now, we are going into a very interesting market where we see that even people want to transition into new homes. They have the, I want to keep my low rate syndrome. Mm -hmm. You see them, uh, for the most part, people that have bought per, uh, properties during COVID or even pre-COVID uh, with rates in the low threes, mid threes. Uh, as they see this, you know, now rates hovering into the 7%, they are postponing plans. And a lot of these changes that are going on in the economy, for the most part, making people just think twice before they make the transition mm -hmm. uh, with the type of even inventory that we're seeing right now in the market, which is extremely low. So how would you see this rate increase affecting the housing market? So in terms of buyers, okay, so even though the mortgage payments have increased quite considerably, um, for a $600,000 mortgage a couple of years ago at 3%, with a $3,300 mortgage payment. Now that mortgage payment being into the low 5,000, you ultimately are having people still rethinking their options. But for the most part, things can wait because they have family events. The family's growing. Uh, sometimes, you know, there might be somebody passing in the family as well. Mm -hmm. They need to transition into another, into another state, into another area and they have the need to sell or the need to buy. But with these buyers that are in the community, for the most part, interestingly, even though the rates are, are higher, there are still multiple offer scenarios. And we're seeing them is, uh, surfacing during this, this time of the year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that is the, the one thing that for a lot of the people that are looking to buy into properties or buy properties right now, the, the thing to keep in mind is to always consult a real estate agent, a realtor, to guide them in the right direction, because there are different programs that we can uh, definitely tap as a consumer. Uh, but the last thing that we don't want to do is go out there on a Saturday, uh, see homes, and then get excited about a property, yeah. and then knowing that it's hard to afford, right? So with that being said, what tips would you have for buyers who are looking for an affordable home and trying to get into the market off the sidelines right now? Yeah, for sure, the, the number one thing we need to do is to consult a, a, a real estate agent, right? A, a professional real estate agent, a realtor out there that will give a lot of guidance, clarity, uh, and peace of mind during the process. Uh, as most buyers, you know, the, the most typical thing to do is to go online and find properties online. But with a professional real estate agent, you know, they should be able to have more resources and just tapping things online, eventually, you know, securing better pricing. And when it comes, you know, um, to sellers. So the one thing that we are keeping in mind as well is that historically the best time to put the properties on the market is uh, March, April, May, June. Mm -hmm. um, and in this market right now, uh, most of the people out there are looking into their options more cautiously. Okay. Right? And that's when uh, it's important to always consult a realtor in place uh, to make these decisions a little more smoother. Yeah, all right. Adriano Torri, thank you so much for being here, the CEO of Rexmont Real Estate. Thanks for having me over. Thank you. All right, BMAC, we'll toss it over to you.